Big Run is coming once again with Sizzle Season and the desire to reach a decent high score or obtain your favorite badges and statues returns like it always does. And while unfortunately it is not possible to change mathematics and include more people in the top 5%, I will do my best in this video to give you all a better chance to get it and also in general what are some top techniques that can help you perform better during big run. While I said these are tips for competing for the top 5%, they also pretty much apply to all areas of Salmon Run and will work for all of you. And if you're looking for additional and even more in-depth tutorials and guides, subscribe to the channel and check out the Prepare for Big Run miniseries that covers all of these topics more thoroughly. First of all, Salmon Run is a cooperative game mode that requires teamwork and sure, the normal goal of Grisco does not require advanced communication to reach the quota, Big Run is quite different as it encourages the activity of overfishing, or in other words, gathering as many golden eggs as possible. And although it is very possible to have great synergy with just a random crew, it is highly advised to seek out your friends or form a steady group of co-workers to play and practice together with. I know a lot of people who already use the current community discords like to jump between groups after one or two bad games. But staying with a team and giving each other tips for how to complete certain waves or just the fact that you will get used to each other's playstyles will help you greatly in gathering more eggs as time goes on, instead of constantly switching teams and not progressing at all. Remember that Salmon Run is a team game and you're supposed to support each other and not blame each other and it will result in overall better quality games in the long run. If you aren't part of any of the Salmon Run discords, I have placed links to some of them in the description of this video, but also the pinned comment and I encourage everyone to connect with others, it will be more fun that way. My next tip would be of course to start using advanced Salmon Run techniques such as luring as the most basic example or using your specials in a more aggressive fashion compared to usual. Everyone should be familiar with luring by now, the concept of letting salmonid bosses that move closer to the basket before splitting them, which will decrease the time required for you to collect their golden eggs. This doesn't necessarily have to mean you just stand back and do nothing, but luring can also be applied in a very active way of simply going somewhere else on the stage to split some lessers or statics and let that steelhead or drizzler closer to the basket in the meantime. For the most basic example, if you're ever chased by moths or a scrapper, that also saves more time than you think when you lead them back to the basket, as those precious seconds that you would spend throwing golden eggs otherwise are going to come really handy later when you can collect even more eggs. Specials can also be used differently during Big Run if you're looking to score high, more specifically in order to help you collect eggs and not necessarily to splat static bosses on the shore or secure your wave. Sometimes it is better to just go and splat a stinger on the shore and keep your ink strike or booyah bomb for later to clear the lesser salmonids in the last 30 seconds of a wave to allow your team to collect eggs without having to waste any ink on shooting anything. Similarly, you can still use specials during night waves like Mothership or Fog Wave with the goal of gathering more eggs and not to survive. But of course, these are also going to be a lot more risky, so be careful. A very simple advice I can give is to, for example, use a wave breaker in the last 15 seconds of a wave if there are tons of tons of eggs near the basket, as that wave breaker will allow you to gather much more of them thanks to the protection it provides. Third tip is the so-called snatcher optimization. This is something I still don't see often enough and worse, sometimes I see coworkers straight up ignore fantastic opportunities to win shifts by not looking at snatchers. Snatchers are the flying salmonids that collect golden eggs lying around and they are possibly one of your greatest allies for getting a high score. Snatchers are always coming from the same one direction during a wave and this direction can change for each of the three waves during a shift. But once it is set, they will always come from the same side and what's super cool is that they also go back straight to where they came from. This means at the beginning of a wave you should always identify where snatchers are coming from and that way you can not only let them carry eggs back towards the basket for you, but you can also just leave certain eggs on the ground and let the snatchers do the work for you. Learn to look out for snatchers and have trigger discipline to not splat them unnecessarily when the spawns are good. And you'll have a whole new and super easy way to gather a lot more eggs than you normally could. Next tip is also one of the more important ones, but also the one I think a lot of people just need to hear. Yes, it is true that the higher your rank is in Salmon Run, the more golden eggs you can potentially gather, because more bosses spawn. 
there will be a lot more golden eggs in a high executive VP rank like 400 than if you just play on professional plus 3. But here's the catch. Just because there are more golden eggs and bosses, that doesn't mean you will also be able to collect all of them, or that you will even be able to handle that hazard level. Far too many players fall into the trap of repeating the same too high hazard level in the hopes of achieving better high scores, only to constantly fail because it is way harder to handle the salmonids in those games. Instead, I recommend you to choose a rank you're 100% comfortable with and try to master that instead. Let's take a look at an example. Executive VP400 will roughly have around maximum 23, 25, and 27 salmonid bosses spawning in their three waves. This means the maximum amount of eggs you can collect would be 225 golden eggs, which is incredibly high, not to mention it's very hard or straight up impossible to gather all those eggs, especially unprepared. An average freelance team gets around 50% of those eggs, and if the weapons are not great, they often also fail. Now, the last big run only required 141 Golden X high score for the top 5%, which is a lot lower than 225. So let that sink in for a moment and remember it. But now let's take a look at a high professional plus 3 game. Here you will only see around 16, 18 and then 20 bosses and a lot less less assaminates for the 3 waves, which is a grand total of 162 golden eggs. Still very much above the big run high score, but with a 100% hazard level and huge difficulty difference from the EVP example we used. Now with the same statistics, an average team will likely only get half of those eggs, which would only be around 81. But the point is that if you are a more experienced EVP player, and you drop down to a more comfortable rank and practice with your friends on it, you can push that score to much, much higher maximum and potentially get a better overall high score than if you were to try pushing higher hazard levels. So my tip here is to whichever rank you are, choose a more comfortable rank depending on the goal you're aiming for and grind those hazard levels instead of pushing for higher that you just can't play optimally on and you'll see a lot better consistency in your games and you'll have an easier time optimizing and relying less on luck. Finally, the bad news and the greatest part of attaining a good high score is grind, grind and grind. Big run and overfishing in general is more than just getting a high score by using good strategies and being a good player. It's about all the attempts, the grinding and the sweating over many, many, many failed attempts where you keep improving and practicing on how to do better only to eventually get that one good game where everything clicks and you reap the rewards. There is of course luck involved in all of this, no one denies that, but there is way too much attention given to luck when Big Run is more about consistency. Consistently playing well and for many games where you're always looking at how to get more eggs prepares you and your team to be ready for those games where luck is on your side and you get the right bosses and the right waves to collect a lot of golden eggs. It isn't enough to be lucky if you can't make use of the opportunity that is in front of you and that is usually the stepping stone in getting better at Salmon Run. To ready yourself and be prepared for the lucky or the unlucky cards you are given so you know exactly what needs to be done instead of thinking and panicking at the moment. There is no way around experience and time, which is why I recommend to practice and practice, stay with the same team and preferably on a rank that you're comfortable on. But those are the 5 most important tips in my opinion for Big Run if you want to partake in the competition part of it and be successful. If you have any additional questions about these, let me know in the comment section, but also remember to check out the community discords I've linked where you can get even more help. Or if you don't like Discord, my channel is also full of resources. Big Run is imminent everyone, hope you will enjoy it. Stay tuned for the guides coming for it on the weekend as I also get access to it, and I wish you all good luck and lots of fun. Thank you for watching, and take care.